to equal the same presence and crisis because response is very, capability very far away as these from 18 forward deployed Asia ships. Against. Hey guys, it's the loud guys. Today we are going to watch just how big is the 7th fleet. So, <laughs> we'll see how big is the 7th fleet and 7th fleet is I think so uh, one of the uh, like you know army, army units uh, navy units because we yeah. were reading in the description so yeah. it was written that okay it is uh, a US fleet that stays in Japan only mm -hmm. and like it is one of the largest of forward deployed US fleet so mm -hmm. it will be very interesting to see and it is about 6 to 70 ships 300 aircrafts and on the coast of Japan so I think so it is mainly because of China only yeah. because the threat of China threat is of China. very big and they yeah. have to constantly monitor it and that is why even Japanese and all the other countries also support America in that so let's see what is it all about yeah hmm, so it will be very interesting to watch so let's start the video <laughs> How Power 7th Fleet is a numbered fleet of the United States Navy. It is headquartered at U.S. Fleet Activities Yakosuka in Yakosuka, Kanagawa Prefecture, Japan. It is part of the United States Pacific Fleet. At present, it is the largest of the forward deployed U.S. fleets wow. with 60 to 70 ships. 300 aircraft huh. and 40,000 Navy and Marine Corps personnel. Oh. 40,000? Yeah. Its some principal armies. responsibilities are to provide joint command in natural disaster or military operations and operational command of all naval forces in the region. Of the 50 to 60 ships typically assigned to 7th Fleet, 18 operate from U.S. facilities in Japan and Guam. Oh. These forward deployed units represent the heart of 7th Fleet and the centerpieces of American forward presence in Asia. They are 17 steaming days closer to locations in Asia than their counterparts based in the continental United States. Oh. It would take three to five times the number of rotationally based ships in the U.S. to equal the same presence mm -hmm. and crisis because response very, capability very far away as from these 18 forward deployed Asia, ships. On any given day, about 50% of 7th Fleet forces are deployed at sea throughout the area of that responsibility. So costly, no? Yeah. Deploying all these ships regularly. Following the end of the Cold War, the two major military scenarios in which the 7th Fleet would be used would be in case of conflict in Korea or in Korea. a conflict between People's Republic of China, China. and Taiwan in yeah. the Taiwan Strait. The 7th Fleet is organized into specialized task forces. Task Force 70 Task Force 70 is the battle force of 7th Fleet and is made up of two distinct components. Surface Combatant Force 7th Fleet, composed of cruisers and destroyers, and Carrier Strike Force 7th Fleet, made up of at least one aircraft carrier and its embarked air wing. The battle force is wow. currently centered around it Carrier so Strike nice, Group nice, 5, yeah. the carrier USS Ronald Reagan, responsible for unit level training, integrated training, and material American readiness so for the group's powerful. ships and aviation squadrons. So Task Force 71. Task Force 71 includes all naval special warfare units wow. and explosive ordnance disposal mobile units assigned to 7th Fleet. It is based in Guam. Task Force 72. Task Force 72 is the Patrol and Reconnaissance Force, 7th Fleet. It is located at Naval Air Facility, Misawa, Japan. Oh. It is mainly composed of anti-submarine warfare aircraft and maritime airborne surveillance platforms, such as P-3 Orion, and Lockheed EP-3 reconnaissance planes operating on this land bases. This looks like bases. a commercial plane, but mm. it is not. Task Force 73. Task Force 73 Commander, Logistics Group Western Pacific, 7th Fleet's Logistics Force, composed of supply ships and other fleet support vessels, headquartered in Singapore. Singapore. Task Force 74. Task Force 74 was the designation used for the Enterprise Battle Group in 1971. Today, it is the fleet submarine force responsible for planning and coordinating submarine operations within 7th Fleet's area of operations. Oh. 
Task Force yes. 75, so many task Navy forces. Expeditionary Forces, a Command Pacific, the whole area. is Seventh Fleet's primary Guam, expeditionary Singapore task force, located in Camp Covington, Guam. See, Commander Guam. Task Force 75 is responsible for the planning and execution of coastal riverine operations, explosive ordnance disposal, diving, engineering and construction, and underwater construction throughout the Seventh Fleet area of responsibility. Task wow. Force 76, Amphibious Assault Task Force, currently yeah, headquartered amphibious. at U.S. Fleet Activities, SACEBO, mainly responsible for supporting marine landing tanks. operations. Like it is composed of units capable of delivering ship-to-shore wow. assault troops, nice. such as Tarawa class and WASP class amphibious assault ships and landing craft. Task Force 77, Seventh Fleet Mine Warfare Force, composed of mine countermeasure, mine hunter, and mine control ships, as well as mine countermeasure helicopters, MH-53. This task force is only activated during specific combat operations and was filled by the commander of Mine Warfare Command. Mine Warfare Command has now been disestablished wow. and replaced by Navy Mine and Anti-Submarine Warfare Command, Naval Base Point Loma, California. Task Force 78. In 1973, Task Force 78 this served as the Mine Clearance big. Force that cleared Haiphong Harbor in Operation InSweep. Major elements of the U.S. Navy Mine Warfare Force, including Mobile Mine Command, this Mine Warfare Support Group, and HM-12 were airlifted by C-5A to NAS QB Point in the Philippines. Why would you fight USA? These specialists formed the nucleus of Task Force 78. Task Force 79. How many are there? The Marine Expeditionary Unit, or Landing Force, assigned to the fleet, consisting of at least a reinforced Marine Battalion and its equipment. This unit is separate from the Marine Expeditionary Unit normally embarked in USS Bonhomme Richard Amphibious Readiness Group. Marine units serving in 7th Fleet are normally drawn from three Marine Expeditionary Forts based in Okinawa, Japan. Thank you. Wow. Wow, American Army is very, very huge. And the 7th Fleet is very, very big. This is big than some of the army that I know. That they are so huge. Like I was like, he was talking about Task Force 71, 72, yeah, 73. Yeah, everything is properly divided. So I thought, okay, they, yeah. he's going to stop somewhere. Stop, yeah. But no, it was not ending. Yeah. I think so it was about Task Force 79. That was the end. So there are so many task forces and how well they are located in each and every mm. part like Guam to Japan to Indonesia to Singapore to each and every place. So they mm. have made sure that whenever China or North Korea does anything bad, they are always They are added. all set. Yeah, mm. they are all set. And like, uh, I feel that cops are very dedicated to, towards their work. I mean, they are like, like they are doing that. They have that, uh, you know, love for that country. Their country, like we need to fight if anything is happening. Mm. Like we are ready for that. And I think American army is like very dedicated and very professionally, you know, sophisticated. Like everything is properly divided and they know what to do and when to do. Mm. And they are very, very powerful at it. Like no other country can match them. This mm -hmm. is just uh, no, every video that we watch. There is like no option that any other country could do such a thing because yeah. everybody will be like, why are we sending our forces to other country and mm -hmm. then why are we wasting our resources yeah. and time? Mm -hmm. But America is like, no, we want to be the world leader, so we will do everything to be the world leader, yeah. and that is why the forces are everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, what do you guys think about the Seventh Fleet? Do let us know in the comment section below. So, do like, share, and subscribe. Bye.